Hello, parents. Brilliant air once again. Welcome you back to the world of self-discovery. Today's topic, fostering self-esteem. I am Josie Cole, and let's take a look at our first slide. Take a look at this girl. Very nice long hair, and she, did, she is sitting at one corner. What is she thinking? How is she feeling? What has actually happened? Why is she sitting there looking this way? Look at this boy now. He's sitting in the sofa, looking miserable at this young age. Why is he looking this way? Isn't it a child should be happy, should be, you know, cheery all the time? What is bothering him? As a parent myself, I feel sad and painful to see such a picture like that. Today, we are talking about self-esteem. What does self-esteem mean to you, parents, for your child? Self-esteem means you mostly feel good about yourself. Kids with self-esteem feel proud of what they can do, feel liked and accepted, accept themselves even when they make mistakes. Self-esteem is also important to adults, parents just like you and I. Wow, we have a different picture right now. Look at them, sunshine, sunny, happy. Look at their smile, it's so bright. Accept who they are, do not compare, be happy. What do I mean by this? Okay, all right, parents, be reminded, okay? Do not compare your children with other people's children your elder child with your younger child. Comparing only kills, only hurts. You look great. Tell this to your child. Tell this to your son, your daughter. They will feel so happy. An example, you're going out to a supermarket or going to a friend's party. Tell them, wow, boy, you look so smart with this t-shirt. I'm so happy that you are actually very good at your color coordination. Something like that. That builds up their self-esteem and confidence. Wow, girl, you look very good with that florist dress. She looks to feel good. Imagine when she's attending the friend's party and she thinks, Mommy say I look good with this dress. Thumbs up. Parents, be generous with your thumbs up. When was the last time you actually gave your child a thumbs up? I asked a parent and the parent told me this. I say, oh, wow. So you just like give your child like two minutes ago, you know, a thumbs up. You shake your head. Then I say, what? When my child was two years old, I say, what? Be generous. Always give your child a thumbs up. Look at the girl. She woke up happy, yay! Maybe she's looking forward to visiting to the zoo this afternoon. She said, yay! You know, she woke up early in the morning and said, yay, we're going to the zoo today. Encourage your child and speak to them positively. Always say, wow, mommy is so impressed. You remember that we are going to the zoo today and you wake up all by yourself. I need not even need to wake you up. Something positive. I'm so proud of you. You are doing awesome. We are confident that you can do it. Imagine this boy, he's all dressed up so bright, so happy. 
he's going for his maybe a grade one piano exam. And you say, I'm confident that you can do it. You will do well. How will he feel? He's indeed feeling nervous because he's going for his a grade one a piano exam. So that is where you need to tell them and give them the confidence. When the exam is over, he step out of the room, give him a clap, you know, give him the clap, give him a hug and say, wow, you are doing awesome. Even though mommy and daddy is waiting outside the room, I could hear that you played so well. Speak to them positively. Next. Look at this young girl. She's busy sweeping the floor. And this little boy folding the clothes. To develop a sense of responsibility. Well, remember parents, I told you that I've got two grown-up sons. When they were younger, I taught them how to fold the clothes. I taught them how to change the bed sheet. And parents told me, you serious? I say, yes. Are they able to do it? Of course. But what about the crumpled bed sheet? I said, it's fine. Give them the sense of responsibility. Under one roof, everybody has the responsibility to do something, to contribute something. So when they change their uniform after school, okay, their responsibility is to put the dirty clothes, dirty uniform, all the way to the laundry basket, rather than zoop, pop, put it there for somebody to take it away. Allow them to help around in the house. It's okay if they didn't sweep clean enough. But at least they know they need to keep the house clean. Here, isn't that beautiful? Sitting at one corner reading a book that she's enjoying. And he's so focused doing his homework. Help your child to establish self-discipline. You say, wow, Josie, it's really difficult to see my children doing this. Parents, believe me. As possible. Establish self as the uh, discipline, all right, will actually give them the confidence to tell them, hey, I can do it. That keeps them going. Have a roster for them. Sit down with the child and say, look here, shall we plan? What are some hours that you need to sit down to do your work? What are the timing that you need to sit down to read? What are the timing that is your own timing that you can play? Give them the responsibility to the ownership to do something. And they are fully in charge of that. Mommy kissing the daughter, daddy hugging the son. This daddy looks very familiar. Hmm, my idol, you know. Your love to your child is unconditional. Parents, do not love your child just because of their results, their school results especially. Tell your children, we love you always. Have this habit to hug them. Have this habit to tell them rapidly, um, rep, uh, repeat it, you know, as many times as possible. Tell them you love them. Tell them no matter how you love them. It doesn't matter if you fail a spelling, you fail the test or anything, you still love them. So that the children knows that you love them not just because you wanted me to do well in my exams, 
my results, my marks. That give them, that makes them feel comfortable. And they are sheltered with lots of loves. Look at this girl and this boy. Always remember, when something happened, there's always a reason behind it. Teach your child to cope with mistakes and failure. Nobody is perfect. It's all right. We are confident that you can do better the next time. For this boy, maybe he didn't, he, he wasn't able to, to score, you know, for, for this soccer match. He didn't do, you know, a perform as well in the soccer match. And he failed, you know, he, he lost the match. He lost in the match. It doesn't matter. Explain to him it's just a, flag, a friendly match. Put in more effort in your next match and you will be able to do well. What about this girl? It could be she has attended a drawing competition and, and she didn't win the prize that she has been like looking forward to. It doesn't matter, Roslyn. Daddy and mommy knows that you have been working very hard, practicing so hard for this drawing competition. Let's try again the next drawing competition and we know that you will be able to do well. Well, take a look at this picture here. Look at the mummy. 